Hey there, Chumba. Welcome to 2077. Hope you're ready. Well, it's 314 React here and today we're going to be looking at my Relic Cyberware project which is powered by Raspberry Pi 2 that incorporates cutting edge speech recognition technologies as well as speech synthesis technologies and integrates with ChatGPT for a unique and immersive experience. So in terms of the hardware obviously it's got a Raspberry Pi 02W, it's got a Pi DAC shim which allows audio out to this PS4 earbud and it's got a USB microphone on there as well. It's got a live poly battery, as well as a little power boost circuit on there to allow it to power the Raspberry Pi itself. It's also got a little heart rate monitor on there as well, which we'll go over in a bit. And it's also in this nice metal case that I got from the Raspberry Pi store in Cambridge. And you can see it's got a sticker on there that says Arasaka, which is one of the companies from Cyberpunk 2077, which this project is inspired from. In terms of the software, at the heart of the project is something called Whisper, which is an open source speech recognition tool powered by OpenAI. This allows you to speak directly into the microphone and then have that translated into text, which can then be used to send to a customized version of ChatGPT, which is using a ChatGPT Python wrapper in lieu of the official API. The customized version of ChatGPT is essentially where we give ChatGPT a role to play, and in this case, it's playing the role of a trauma team AI, which is another corporation from the cyberpunk universe. And this sort of sets the tone and style of ChatGPT's responses on top of your own replies that it's taking in via the speech to text. So to bring the responses to life, this has TTS on board. It's using the open source text-to-speech engine provides natural sounding speech synthesis, which is called Nix TTS, which is really, really good. And it's a lot better than the eSpeak that I was using previously. But that's not all. You can also integrate it with Fake You API, which is a website that can generate realistic voices of celebrities. So you can use it to replicate Keanu Reeves' voice on this, as well as change the context of it to make API act in the role of Johnny Silverhand, which would add an extra layer of immersion to the experience. One of the unique features of the Relic Cyberware is the MAX30101 heartbeat sensor, which allows it to get the user's heart rate from the temple on the side of their head when they're wearing it. And then it uses that alongside the additional context of ChatGPT along with your response so that the bot can adjust its responses depending on whether your heart rate's high or low, which again, just adds to the kind of immersiveness of the experience as it can change the tone of ChatGPT's responses as is acting like a AI from Cyberpunk. Of course, it's important to note that this is not a medical tool and should not be used for any sort of serious medical use or diagnosis. The heart rate monitor is purely a fun, immersive feature of the Relic Cyberware designed to enhance your experience. One of the other features is its configurability. As mentioned, this has the ability to give ChatGPT a role and you can actually change this to suit your own preferences. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even modify the code to add your own responses and to make ChatGPT take the role of something else. So of course, it's designed to be worn on the head. So I've got this headband here, and it goes over like so, and sits on the head quite nicely. It does hang down a little bit at the front because it's quite heavy. And then you just put the earpiece in, and there you go. Now you'll be able to speak to it using the OpenAI Whisper which is all run locally. The unfortunate part is, is that it does run a little bit slow, even on the Raspberry Pi 02. So hopefully they release a Pi 03 in future with a lot more RAM and a bit more computing power on it, as it can take a good couple of minutes 
to process the speech to text. If you're interested in building your own cyberware relic, then be sure to check out the code and links in the description to the build guides from Hackster and Electromaker. So before we move on to the demos, I just want to remind you that the speech to text conversion sometimes makes errors and you need to bear that in mind because those responses that you're putting in will be sent off to ChatGPT. And additionally, I can't take any responsibility for what ChatGPT may say while it's playing these roles. And I especially can't take any responsibility for how it will respond to things that a user says to it if they choose to use this code and also if they decide to change the role that ChatGPT is playing. And one more thing, fake you replicates fairly realistic celebrity voices. They're not 100%, but it's best to keep in mind and read the terms and conditions of fake you and also be responsible and respectful with it. Now, without any further ado, let's look at some demos of the Relic Cyberware in action. All right, so here is my demonstration setup. I've got a nice little speaker here so we can actually hear what it's saying because obviously if it's on my head and I've got the earbuds in my ears, the camera's not going to pick it up. So this is my testing bench and I've started the program. It will take a little while to boot up as it does have to load quite a few things and there's only 512 megabytes of memory on the Pi Zero 2. Even though I do have two gigabytes of swap set, it still takes a lot of time and the processor is quite limited as well. It does take a a little bit of while to play the TTS and the TTS has to be limited to 500 characters I found because otherwise it will crash out. So it is a bit slow. We're gonna to have to do a few cuts in this demonstration here. We're gonna wait for the intro text to come in which the TTS will say. We're then gonna ask it a question and then it should send that out to chat GPT under the context of acting as a trauma team AI from Cyberpunk. And then I'll also do a demo of using the fake you API to generate a Keanu Reeves style voice. Welcome to the Arasaka Relic Cyberware System, Trauma Team Edition. Testing mode active. Hello, can you give me the status of Night City at the moment, please? So I have to be careful there to make sure I pronounce the word city right, because I've known it to confuse the word city with C before. So hopefully it's got that right. It should spend the next couple of minutes inferencing, and then it will ping that off to chat GPT, and then we should get a response back. Hello, I am detecting that your heart rate is currently at zero BPM. Please remain calm as I assess your condition. As for the status of Night City, there is currently high criminal activity and danger levels in certain areas. It is recommended that your exercise caution and stay aware of your surroundings at all times. To do proper and medical assistance. Okay. So that took a long while to process and it just kind of crashed out in the most cyberpunky way possible. There's a few issues with using things locally like text-to-speech, speech-to-text and the text-to-speech on that took a long while to process even though it was only about 350 characters or so. Of course that had the rather dark humour of saying that it had zero BPM heart rate because obviously there's nothing for the heart rate monitor to detect at the moment, but when it does, it will change its response and say that you're feeling calm or stressed depending on the BPM it's getting from the heart rate monitor, which isn't always accurate. So I'm just booting it up again, and we're going to try another request from it. Welcome to the Arasaka Relic Cyberware System, Trauma Team Edition. Testing mode active. Can you run diagnostics on my onboard cyberware, please? Heart rate of zero BPM detected. This requires immediate attention. Please seek medical assistance. Unable to perform diagnostics. There we go, another dark humorous response there that's very fitting with the world of cyberpunk. And that was a much shorter response and it processed a lot quicker. Now we can do a quick demo with it actually taking into account my BPM. Can you run diagnostics on my health, please? What we do is we put the finger down or a thumb down so it can get some kind of response from my heart rate. Scanning. Diagnostics complete. Heart rate normal. No anomalies detected. Health status within acceptable parameters. There we go. And another relatively quick response to go through the TTS system there because it wasn't so many characters. But again, this shouldn't be used as any sort of medical device because obviously that isn't the most accurate sensor. And obviously it's very slow and yeah. It should not be used in any way for any sort of medical diagnosis. It's just a bit of fun. So as mentioned, this can be configured to use the Johnny Silverhand voice as well. This is something I've recently just implemented. So here's a quick demo of how that sounds with a quote from Cyberpunk. Sweat meat for chrome, live a fantasy, whatever. But at the end of it all, it's the code you live by that defines who you are. Give yourself time. 
My diesel come, life will shake you, roll you. Okay, so that cut off a little bit there. I'm not sure why. So I think that might be an issue with the play sound pip install that I'm using. So yeah, even when you've got TTS running in the cloud, it generates a lot faster. There still can be issues, it seems, with the WAV file actually playing. And of course, we can ask Johnny Silverhand himself a quick question about Night City. Hey there, Chumbot. Welcome to 2077. Hope you're ready. Hey Johnny, do you want to see what's happening in Night City tonight? Relax, kid. You want to see what's happening in Night City? Buckle up, gonna be a wild ride. And as a fun little addition, I've also got the Relic Cyberware desktop background set on the Raspberry Pi OS itself. That's the demo, Stona. Well, thanks for sticking around. Back over to you, Mike. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Those were some demos and a little bit of footage of me walking around having way too much fun wearing this thing. I really hope you enjoy the project. Like I said, all the code and links to the build guides are in the description, so do check those out. Leave a like if you like the project. Leave a dislike if you didn't like the project. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you want to see more videos on games and tech projects, then do drop a subscribe and hit the little bell because it really helps the channel. I hope everyone's staying safe, and I'll see you in the next video.